This is the latest weapon in the arsenal of the self-proclaimed Islamic State. Oxygen. The cloud of orange is chlorine gas. First used in World War I, it's now being adopted on the battlefield in Iraq. Shot by the Iraqi bomb disposal team, this video shows the crude tactics designed to spread panic among the ill-equipped soldiers. Haider Taha and his team have defused dozens of chlorine bombs in the offensive against the extremist militants. He says their strategy reflects how desperate they have become. They have resorted to this new method. They're putting chlorine inside these homemade roadside bombs, which is toxic for those who inhale it. Six weeks ago, Haider captured this video outside the embattled city of Tikrit. His team didn't realize that they detonated a chlorine bomb until they smelled the distinctive odor. After we detonated the bomb, we saw a pillow of chlorine gas. The symptoms started straight away. Painful choking, our throats were blocked, and we couldn't breathe. My ears felt enormous pressure. As soon as we withdrew, we could start to breathe again. We were lucky a military ambulance was there to treat us. Roadside bombs are cheap and easy to make in Iraq. They are one of the main forms of violence here. Adding small amounts of chlorine is designed to create more fear than harm. What we're seeing here is a classic. We showed the videos to a British chemical expert yeah, who often investigates attacks in Syria. Chlorine explosion. I think mainly psychological. They've seen how effective chlorine has been in Syria. They were gas themselves at Deir Iza by the regime. They've seen how effective it's been against the civilians. So it is a psychological thing to get not only the civilians in Tikrit um, worried, but also the Iraqi soldiers who are doing the bomb disposal here. The army troops are facing such threats without any proper protection. And they are fighting militants who are willing to achieve their goals by any means. Ahmed Maher, BBC News, Baghdad.